really here today. And today, this is a horrible angle, I can't try to be, you know, cute. Anyway, today we are doing the James Charles trying to follow a makeup tutorial. And if you guys don't know, I don't have any of his supplies. I'm not nearly as fancy. So this is gonna be really, really fun. If you like to see people fail, this is the best video for you. So, um, you know, let's get on to it. Alright, so first we're just gonna go through a couple of, I can't get a good, better, like, it's just gonna have to do for y'alls. Oh, it's definitely not better. Okay. So, I think once we get the foundation down, we shouldn't be that bad. I just don't, it all starts with the base, guys. It all starts with the base. Oh, I should have put my dance makeup up here. That would have been nice to have. Because I don't have any eyeliner. I'll have to go back downstairs and get it. Oh, I need, I missed a spot, so... We think we're almost done with this, and then we'll come on, and then we'll move on to the next step. So I'm gonna start playing. Wait, what shade was that? His hand was in the way. Let's see when he puts it on his eye. Oh, it's like a, it's like a brown orange. Let's check to see if I have that. Oh, I missed this whole side of my face. First, we're gonna, does it look bad? I don't know. All right, we're gonna see if we have that orangey color. You know, I might have it in the big one. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, no, we don't. Maybe that color. Let's see if we have a better choice. Nope. Nope. Ooh, this one might have it actually. Nope. This is a blush palette, but let's check. No. All right, so we're gonna have to go with the one in here. And he's going in with like a, it's like he's going in with this type of brush. <laughs> so let's finish this first on this side of my face. Okay. I'm going to finish my foundation and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I finished the foundation and in person. It actually did not look that bad. Uh, actually, it's like my color, actually. So, didn't turn out as bad as I thought. So, now we're going to do what he is doing with... Oh, I forgot what oh, this one, I think. It's a little vibrant. All right. So, he says to right on the crease of your eyeball. Oh, my. That's... Oh, that's Okay. Oh, no, not the next color. I need to make it more vibrant here. I'm doing it on both eyes. I think he's only doing it on one, but I'm going to do it on both. So that we get that full look. Alright. How come this eye looks way bigger? <laughs> That's concerning. Alright, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. That's... Oh. Alright. A very vibrant burnt orange, I think is what you called it. Oh, we're gonna use this. Never mind, we're not using the shade. We're gonna go into the blush and we're gonna use <laughs> found it jackpot. Okay, I think we're just gonna go in with. This. This looks like a burnt orange. My face, but for this, I'm actually kind of holding the brush downwards to really get it up in that crease and make sure it doesn't blend. We used the wrong brush. Oh, this is going to take forever. 
Ooh, this is a good color though. All right, we're Gucci with that one. But I just needed this. He also he has a more pointy brush on him right now. Oh, okay, that's how it looks. <laughs> We are going to be cutting out the crease today, so it's okay that we can get done the lid because we're going to clean it up later. And then same thing with the outer corner, I'm going to pull it out in like a nice little cut position. We are going to be going from really, really light orange, obviously, and I'm transitioning it to really, really deep black. And oh, black. Great. In a few seconds, but I am going to be blending in between every step to make sure that none of the colors get muddy together. Wait, how do you blend? I'm actually going to another clean object. We're pausing you. Oh, I went out way too far. Good enough. How does it look? It's not really how it looks. Let's try to blend, I think. I think that worked pretty well. Guys, I'm fully trying here, so like, all right, we're moving on. <laughs> 39 brush, this brush is basically the exact same as the M433, so if you have that one, feel free to dip into that one too, or literally any blending brush. Where are all these numbers? To this burnt, darker orange shade right up in here, but we are just going to want to make sure every color we go in with, we're using a smaller brush, or just a more defined motion, to really make sure. Okay, so now it's like rubbing it all over. Both colors are getting more and more dark and defined with each time, and once again, not getting too muddy. I'm next going to grab a smaller, more defined brush. This is the M507, and I'm going to dip into this, like, ready tone brown shade up in here, and I'm going to use this to deepen up, once again, the crease on the outer V. As you guys can see, when doing these style of looks, it's really, really important to start off light and build your way up darker and darker, using a smaller and smaller brush and smaller motions each time, because if you start off with a dark color and just go right in... Oh, wait, he's using a really, really dark color. It's not dark enough. Those are too dark. Like brown. You mean like a purpley brown? They might have this. Yeah, nope. The last chance right here. Ooh, here. This looks good. Well, that was a lot. Right, hopefully I don't mess up. Look how dark this is. It's not how this looks. I'll fix that up later. Blended like really, really quickly. So I know it may seem like a lot of extra mess. I mean, we've already literally used four eyeshadow colors, and it doesn't even look like much yet. Oh my but lord! I've done messed up. I thought it was going to go well. Uh, what do I do? I need to go get my makeup remover thingies. I'll be back. Okay. That doesn't look any better, but it looks better than what it did look like, I guess. Even though I just looked definitely pretty better. I need to lighten her up a little bit. There we go. That's better. Yeah. All right, this is gonna have to do. I feel like it's just a really bad stop right there. Going to try to blend, guys. Ooh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. If you just take your time and be patient, this is really gonna like help you make your look in general. Just starting off really, really slow and have some patience will help you make those iconic, beautiful, blended out, smoky eyes. So this is where things are gonna start to get more complicated, more dark, and more intense. Wait, wait. He put it all across his eyeball. Well, the top of his eyelid. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. You can go. I'm going to grab my M149 brush, which is this very, very tiny pencil brush, and dip it to a black shade in the bottom corner. And Guys, he's going in with black. This is not a black. This is where it all goes downhill. I mean, like, look, they look pretty good right now. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself at the moment. I go out like this. Okay. Anyway, he's going in with black. Is to deepen out that crease or the outer V, not the crease. Oh my god! I just brought my mirror a little bit closer. Obviously, you guys know my eyesight is not the best. I really want to make sure this looks very, very defined and precise because you guys know I'm 
Mirror closer. Got it. You're going to see my mirror. <laughs> So with the black on the pencil brush, I'm going to take this and I'm going to tap it right into the outer V. So we're going to cut this entire area out using the shimmer shadow in a second, but I do want to get all the color on there in the right shape, just like that, so we can blend it out and have the pigment still be there because, like I said, we don't want to... All right, one second of time, James. Okay, so he wants us to put the black, like, right here in, like, the V... I'm so concentrated right now, guys. You don't even know. Like, I'm desperately trying. <laughs> Doesn't look horrible. I think this is more pigmented. She wants black, but where there is a black, we want it to be black. Dark, okay. So blend that black, I don't want to Nope. One step. Okay, so he said where there is black, he wants it to be like, like for sure black. So it's not like a second guess, like is that black or is that not black? All right, we're just gonna go with that. I'm gonna apply the seven brush once again and dip into this cool tone brown shade up in here and just lightly go over those edges. All right, so cool tone brown shade. Looks like. This is pretty cool toned and brown shaded. Right? Yeah. Like I was saying, adding a little bit of black. Okay. So we're just going to do that on the outside of our black. Okay. Oh, you guys can see how bad that looks. We just did so under my R39 brush and dip into that light orange shade from before. And just go over those edges to hopefully... Oh, okay, so we can go back. Okay, that's good, because I need to go back, sweetheart. Go like that and take that shade again. And bring it out. Because we did not add enough of her earlier. That looks way better, I think. I hope. This left eye needs a lot of help. Mm. Ow! <laughs> oh gosh. There's still like a piece of me that does not like this spot. Oh, there. There, there, there. Now we need to add the orange right there. Mm, okay, now we're moving on. A little bit less dark. All right, so that is the lid shadow all complete. Like I said, it did get a little bit darker than I originally wanted it to, but oh well, I guess that's just what we're going to have to deal with today. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out the crease. I'm going to grab my Morphe Cream Shadow in the shade Copper today, which is this beautiful orangey shade as the base, of course. And then my Makeup Shock T57 brush, it's just this tiny, really flat liner brush. We are going to be doing a lot more of like a detailed crease today than the classic average half-cut crease where you just kind of blur out the edges. So I do want to make sure it's really, really light and defined. I know some people really like to do a concealer first when they're cutting out crease. Okay, so I just watched what he did, and he took like a really, really metallic. <clears throat> he had the liquid one, and I used to have something like that, but then I used it in slime. I'm not surprised. Oh, why does he have so many tiny brushes? I only have one. What the heck? Okay, so I'm going to use this because it's the most metallic kind of color that I can tell looks like his. So, hmm. He says to fill in all of this, but mine is already, like, filled in with another color. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. All right. That's why he says to use a tiny brush. I need a lot of this metallic. I feel like it's just moving all the other colors. Like. Alright. I'll show you guys once I'm finished with my other eye here. The left eye is better with the highlight stuff.
cake and Oh, here. It looks way better in, like, real life. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so he's doing lashes, but I'm not going to be that fancy. And uh, I'm just going to use a lot of mascara. Okay, so I just have, like, I don't even know. This is lengthening mascara. So I don't even know if this is going to be, like, good, but... I think it was like two dollars. So sorry, James. I'm not gonna buy your thousand dollar mascara. Ooh, no, it doesn't look good at all, actually. You can't even tell that I put a mascara. Like, I need a thicker mascara. Um, alright, mascara, no mascara. I mean, yeah, you can tell the difference. I just wish that it was, like, more dark. If you know what I mean. I think y'all know what I mean. Oh my god, I can't tell the difference. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to do with this then. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the bottom lashes too because I feel like everyone always does the bottom lashes and it looks so much better. Ow, I almost stabbed myself in my eyeball. We love that. Oh, maybe I should get more eyelash thingy stuff, whatever it's called. Okay, let's get a little bit of a cold spot my face. I think it looks pretty good, pretty good. Especially because I, I don't do makeup, like, at all. Eh. Except for, like, sometimes I'll do it for my dance competitions. Like, I'll just do my eyeliner or something. But I don't, like, do, like, all my, my whole face, so. Okay, so now he's just Lots using his fake lashes, lashes, lashes with his mascara. Oh, I should have brought my liner. Um... I'm gonna go get it because I have some and like I'm really good at it so okay guys so I got the under eye stuff and I got another mascara so <sighs> sorry I keep getting out of breath so I'm gonna do my under eye mascara whatever it's called liner right first and then I'm gonna put on the other mascara so let me do that because this might take me a while all right guys so I put on the under eye can you see it looks it actually looks really good in person guys like I'm proud of myself. So now I'm going to put on the other mascara that I just grabbed. And hopefully this works a little bit better. Whoa. It's way fatter. So this is the stuff that I use for my like dance competition stuff. This should be really nice. And Gucci good. Alright, that looks way, 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 way... Oh, that's not a good view of James right now. Way better. I feel like it's just kind of clumpy, so that's a problem. I don't know how to get that off. Oh, no, what I do? Oh, I just bumped back so far. Darn it. <sighs> Gotta back here. No, I already did that. 
I did that here, there, here. Did that, did that, did that. Okay, here, found it. <laughs> okay, so guys, this mascara looks way better. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Okay, this mascara looks way, way better. Yes, okay. Next. Oh, okay, we already did this, James. Oh, okay, great. We have more eyeshadow. That's exactly what we need. Alright, so now he's taking that bright orange again and putting it under his eye. It's a great way to stab my eye out. <sighs> great. This is what's going to mess it all up. Just warning you alls. Oh, Lord. Oh, it actually doesn't look that bad. His is just way more vibrant than mine. Probably because mine is blush, first of all, and his is more expensive. It's okay. I'm not a very vibrant makeup person. I like the natural looks. This actually looks really good to me. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because I don't even know what baking powder is for, so, and I don't have it. Alright, so now I see a really, really dark purple. That one purple in here again and he's putting it on his under eye like over but under the orange you know you probably don't know but that's what he's doing okay and then we're gonna do the left eye Okay, I don't think it did anything, but that's alright. Ooh, we're highlighting. I love highlight. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This highlight isn't very good, though, so... Okay. Wait, he's still using, like, an actual, like, brush, though. So let's use this. He's highlighting his brow bone whatever that means this isn't good enough i need like this but this is gonna make my eyes look really bad okay let's try this Ooh, doesn't look horrible i actually really do like this actually i said actually a lot in that sentence i just realized i said i actually do like this a lot actually Okay, I'll take it, James. Okay, so now we're going to do it on, like, the inner part of our eyeball. This is another nice way to poke your eye out. Okay, now we're gonna do the left eye. Oh wow, that's um Okay. Alright guys, Meta's one eye all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera quickly and I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the look. Alright guys, and those are both eyes all complete. I actually ended up taking off the iconic and pushing it up for the Lily Lash the Eve Style Sydney. These are much more intense and voluminous, not gonna lie. My eyes are a little bit uncomfortable right now. You guys know I always do have to cut off a lot of lash to make them work. My eyes are very, very tiny, but 
I feel like the dramaticness and the side of the base is really fit for this book. Mm -hmm. So sister is gonna suck it up. I already added a little bit of highlighter earlier, but I feel like we are definitely not blending enough. I mean, I'm kind of be on the level of like Aunt Josephine is grabbing some stuffing and we're like, bam. And oh. she is literally so shocked that she forgets about what she was doing. Bam. And just snatch it up first. <laughs> I'm going to go in and lightly stick my face into the cup. Wait, okay, so he went in with more highlighter off camera. That's not fair. I don't even know what a highlight is. I'm just going to use this because it's pointy and it seems to be fine. That did absolutely nothing. I wonder if I should just... I'm struggling. I feel like I should just go in with this. For highlight or this no well I need to do that on that side too so it looks fair I need to like use oh nope not in this okay let's try this one nope I might just be stuck with oh I mean, this is really brown, though. But it's blush, so, like... Here we go. We found the winner. Winner. Chicken dinner. Dinner. Doesn't look very good, but that's okay. As long as you could see... Ooh. As long as you can see the shine, that's okay. I'll be fine. A. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, lordy, why do I do this to myself? First of all, it's way thicker than this side, so now I'm going to make this side thicker. Ugh. All right. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about my makeup wipe. Now I'm going to take off my foundation, too. That's one big oof. I'll just reapply right there. Okay. So now I need to take my foundation again. Oh, this is a this is a process. He's already on setting spray. Actually, he has a, like foundation can like help outline your cheekbones or something. I don't know, but hopefully that's what happens to me. I'll like spread it out with my. Alright guys, I just realized that I forgot to put foundation like all right there. I only did it on my cheeks slash eye part and forehead. Hashtag I'm gonna do very very well in life. Eh, put a little bit on there. Okay. Let's do this now. I, I realized that I have to put highlighter on like the tip of my nose or something like that. And then I realized that I didn't have any foundation on. <laughs> oh, honey. There we go. Okay. Look at how I keep my nails. Sorry, I got them done yesterday. They're cute. Okay. I need to do highlighter on that now. There. Ah! No! That was absolutely horrifying. Oh my. Oh. That looks so bad. We are redoing Xenos. This time we're just gonna put on a beauty blender and that's it. Okay. Oh, there we go. That looks way better. That looks way better. Way. Oh, that looks so nice. Mmm. Way better. Okay. Now we're good to good. Wait. Okay, I think. No, there's something off. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so I also have this sample setting. Look how tiny it is. Sample setting spray. Yeah, there's still some in here, so I'm gonna. That's why I don't like this part, right? <laughs> One more. That was really, really. Oh, Lord. So I just can make my face look splotchy. Does it set or. Or does it look green? Okay, let's see if there's anything else. And then I'm gonna grab, of course, you got there, my Anastasia from Hollywood Illumination. And show to me his letter. Oh, now he does the highlight. Maybe that was my problem. Okay, so now let's try the highlight stuff. Mmm, it looks better, I guess. Okay, that doesn't look better. Sorry, James. It's this is what he looks like. Wait. I can't get a good side of me. Okay. But this is what I look like. It looks great. <laughs> Sorry. A little wink in my eye there. Oh my lord. So. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would look. It doesn't look great either. I, well, so this is the situation. In this room with all the natural lighting, it actually looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. But then, unlike in, I should say not on, in the bathroom, I look like an Oompa Loompa. So, hmm. I think right now it, it I think it actually looks pretty good like but let's just go to the bathroom and check it looks so bad in the bathroom guys like it can't even focus on me it's so bad So, as I was editing this video, like, literally just in the living room, I realized that I didn't have an ending. Call me. Really long video, but no ending, of course. So, first of all, sorry that it was so long. And second of all, um, I don't know what time this is really going to be posted. I know by this weekend it will be posted. But... The reason why I linked the new Instagram was because I have an Instagram account now for specifically for YouTube. And so if you guys go follow me there, which is um all things lily underscore by Lily. Um and you like comment on my videos like them and say like, Hey, I'm from my YouTube channel, can I get a shout out or whatever? I will start doing shout outs. Obviously it's not gonna be in this video because I just started and I wanted to give you guys a chance to go follow it and be recent and stuff active so yeah so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you liked it it was really long it was kind of boring to edit because like i mean it's editing so i hope that i hope that's not boring okay that's what i hope so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below turn those post notifications once you've done those two things, comment down below, hashtag subscribe squad, and I'll be liking a whole bunch of guys' comments. So thank you for watching, and bye!